Yo, what's up everybody? Brandon Chad Robinson here and I'm still at it because I'm not sleepy and I can just knock out a couple of these and, you know, get them out of the way and keep y'all entertained. This is what I love to do and I love entertaining. And if you don't think I'm entertaining, just let me know. But I'm still gonna talk so it doesn't even matter. But today what I wanna talk about is, let's talk about Harley Quinn season two and let's talk about what I wanna do with season two. So. Here's the thing with season two. We may or may not see Black Mask in season two. I'm flirting with the idea of moving on from Black Mask and introducing some new characters. Um, a couple things that I learned from season one is that people really liked Calendar Man. So I want to play around and figure out what I can do with Calendar Man and how I can incorporate his storyline. How about a metaphorical sacrifice? I will give something of myself, of my genius. Like what? What would you consider a great sacrifice to honor Iapetus? Well, Iapetus was a titan. His symbol was a spearhead. He was called the piercer. The mindless rabble. Iapetus was considered to be one of the gods of mortality. What would be more fitting than a sacrifice? So people really like that. Um, some other things that I want to do is I do want to somehow bring back Scarecrow. Nature leads us to believe that the spider builds the web to catch the fly. What if the spider builds a home all for himself and the fly <laughs> is intruded upon him? Would it be wrong then for the spider to punish? Punish the fly. Hello, little fly. Scarecrow was dope. Like that Scarecrow, I think Scarecrow's episode was probably my favorite episode. What I also want to do is I want to keep playing and flirting with the sirens. Like, uh, I want to keep Batgirl in there. I want to keep Catwoman around, you know what I mean? I want to see more of, I want to see more of Harleen interacting in her world and contrast that with Harley interacting in her world. But the biggest thing for season two, we're definitely 100% going to bring in Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy has been a dream character for me to try and incorporate since the beginning of me doing the Harley Quinn web series. Um, bringing in Poison Ivy and finding the right actor for her should be amazing. And I am very much looking forward to seeing how that plays out. Courtney, 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 who plays our Harley Quinn. Courtney is so dope. Courtney moved to New York, but I can't do Harley without Courtney. I can't change Harleys. I changed Harleys once. First Harley the trailer, that was like my teaser kind of test. And then I changed to Courtney and Courtney killed it. So I could not ever change Courtney. You give us what we want and there will be no more problems. What you want? What about what I want? What I also want to do is I do want to start to bring in characters from 
other channels that you may recognize. So I kind of want to do like the Flash, Arrow, DC kind of mashups to cross over those episodes from, you know, like your favorite YouTubers, fan films and their characters. And I'm down to really make that happen. That's also up to you guys to really make that happen. Because if I don't see one of them, you need to let me know so I can check them out and see how dope they are. Um, a couple people that I really like is like Bat in the Sun. Like they're really good. So there's a few people out there that I really enjoy their their characters and their fan film takes on things. So that is what we're doing for season two. Keep in mind. I do have to work and write these scripts and make the money to make this happen because the the whole crowdfunding thing like is so oversaturated and it's so hard to get uh, these things funded that I just would rather work and make it happen myself. Now we do have a Patreon account, so go ahead and check out our Patreon account and you know give us a couple dollars, help me out. Um, I'm trying to make this happen and this is the time to make it happen. Like Hollywood is wide open. Like Hollywood is getting rid of all the creeps, all those creepy people touching on folks. I'm not with none of that. <laughs> so all you creepy people that have been touching on people and all these women coming out, good for y'all because we need to clear them out. What do they say? Drain the swamp. I don't really know what that 100% means, but it feels like it fits, so get all these creepy people out and let us new stand-up guys come in here and make it happen. And honestly, the next wave, if not already the wave, is this short-form content that we put out on a regular basis and is bringing it back to the people. Like, I would still love to be in Hollywood, but I always want to have some kind of foot in the independent realm. So the goal is Hollywood, but I do want to keep a foot in the independent realm. Um, so with that said, stay tuned for more. Um, I have a pretty dope idea for a short uh, that I'm playing around with for, I just say it, for Jubilee. And I think that's going to be pretty slick. So there you have it. Like, comment, subscribe. Remember to turn on notifications and just stay up to date with what I'm doing. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. And I promise to keep giving you all this good content and I promise to keep teaching you all stuff. And, uh, you know, as long as you're here, I'm here. So let's do this fist bump. Pow! Let's get out of here.